to you about distance on the SAT. And I know that some of you may be thinking, well, is she going to talk about distance as like the distance formula between two points? Or is she going to talk to, to us about distance as a function of speed and time? I have good news for you both because we're going to talk about both the distance formula and the distance formula that is the function of rate and time. For those of you preparing for the SAT, knowing these formulas is absolutely paramount. You're going to need to use them for word problems. And I know many of you are asking me to do explainers for word problems. So this is going to help you all with that. My name is Katya Severson. I'm the inventor of the Severson method, a scientifically proven way to learn anything fast, especially when it comes to all sorts of distance problems on the SAT math section. Let's do this. I'm going to show you these two formulas. The first one is distance equals rate times time. Many of you may have heard of this formula as D is RT. D equals RT. R is rate, T stands for time. So when you're reading your word problem, I want you to pay attention to the numbers that show up in the word problem. I want you to ask yourself, is this a value or is this a rate? And if it's a rate, then you're going to put this here. So let's say the bus was moving at two miles an hour for, uh, that would be too slow for the bus. The bus was moving at 20 miles an hour for the last five hours. One of these numbers is a rate, another one is a value. 20 miles an hour is going to be a rate, five hours is going to be the value. And then multiplying rate times time will give you the distance. Now, when it comes to the second distance formula, I need you to know this. Distance is equal to an x1, x2, y1, y2. Those are just coordinates. So let's say you need to find the distance between two coordinates. And I actually have a hint that I always give to my private clients. Whenever you see a coordinate plane, and then you see a circle or a triangle on it, immediately remember your distance formula. Um, I can actually give you an example. For example, here, we will be solving this problem later on, so don't try to solve it. I'm just gonna show you an example. What if you needed to find the distance of AC? How could you do that? You would need to use your distance formula. Um, for example, we would make negative two X1, and 5x2. 4 would be y1, and negative 3 would be y2. We would then plug it into this distance formula and then get the result. So make sure you know both of these formulas, and in the following videos, we will do two problems that have to do with one distance formula and two problems that have to do with the other. There are no simple problems with both distances, so both sets of problems are going to be hard. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.